In Vendor HSM's 2D contour will help you bring your part to size with a few mouse clicks. In a previous video, we used 2D Adaptive to rough this part, and in this video, we will quickly apply two finishing tool paths. I will select 2D contour from the ribbon bar, and we are presented with properties to the left. The five tabs are always the same in Inventor HSM. They stay in the same order and has the same functions no matter what type of toolpath you use. This is done so it will be much easier to learn and remember using Inventor HSM. The first tab is always where you select your tool and input your feeds and speeds. Let me click on the tool button to access the tool library. I'll give you a quick tour. At the bottom you can create a new mill tool, new tool holder, new turning tool and then edit and select the tools when we add them here in our workspace. You will see the 16 mm tool from our previous adaptive tool path at the top. I will select another cutter for the finishing operation by navigating the tool library to the left. I'm going to scroll down and select the tutorial folder and here I have a 10 mm flat end mill. Let me click once to highlight the tool and click select. The second tab is geometry. This is where we can select what we want to machine. I am going to select the bottom edge right on our inventor model. The great thing is, if there is a change later to our model, Inventor HSM will know and you can update the toolpath with a click of a button. You do not have to reprogram your part. Also, notice how we have options like creating tabs for fixturing and rest machining that will check the toolpath against tools used in previous operations. The third tab is where you can adjust all your heights. The fourth tab is the passes tab. This has everything to do with the cutter engaged in the material. Here you can change tool compensation and control everything from adding additional passes and stock to leave. The fifth and last tab is all about the cutter not engaged in material. You have control over such things as lead in and lead out. It does not take much effort in Inventor HSM to create tool path. Let me click OK and if I click simulate and play, you will see that we created a finishing tool path with just a few clicks. Now, before ending this video, let's quickly program this shelf area. I will use the contour toolpath again, and since I'm going to use the same tool as in the previous operation, I can skip to the second tab for my geometry selection. I will select the edge of the shelf, and Inventor HSM will automatically select the tangent edges. A quick tip. If you need specific control over your selections, Inventor will show the selection manager by clicking the same edge twice. I will skip the height tab and move right to the passes tab. I know that I want to add multiple radial passes to this cut to prevent the cutter from cutting with the full width. This is easily done by checking the multiple finishing passes. I will add three passes at three millimeter step over. Clicking OK and selecting Simulate and Play, and we have confirmed that ease of use is built right into Inventor HSM.